What's up guys, coming at you for part three of the teardown of the Audio Pipe Blazer. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, once again, the weather, the damn weather. Anyways, it snowed yesterday, melted off yesterday afternoon. It's fairly warm today, it's it's almost 40. It's it's tolerable to, to work out here a little bit. Uh, but we're supposed to get another storm tonight and more ice and snow. And I don't know when I'll be able to get a chance to work on this stand again, so I figured I'd get a couple hours of work in on this uh, before it gets dark. Um, as I said in the last video, uh, I left off with, uh, I wanted to get some work done on the doors. I didn't get nothing done on those. Um, but so we'll start with those today. We'll get the doors apart and uh, we'll start tearing the front of this off. I'll show you guys how uh, I did my panels and stuff for this and uh, we'll go from there. Cracked it all right there. I'm gonna have to make these next doors real strong. I don't feel like I'm hooking these right now. And voila, we have one door panel off. Okay, so I just got this other tweeter out of this door here. Um, this is the ATR line from Audio Pipe, the uh, ATR 3721. Um, this is actually a really good uh, tweeter, um, as long as you don't overpower them. They're, they're really crisp, they're really clean, and uh, kind of beefy as well. Take a look at them here. But for, you know, um, the price of these, you, you can't beat that tweeter. Let's get this 8 inch out.
that doesn't want to come out. So we'll just do it like this. All right, now that we got these panels out, get your guys' opinion. Tell me what you think. Um, this door here, it's split down here now, probably from the vibration. Other than that, that door is in fairly good shape structurally wise. Now this one here, it is split up here. This was already here. I'll show you, I fiberglass glass this. Uh, last year, these are just junkyard doors. That crack was already there. I just fiberglassed it on the back side. But it's developed another crack right there. So tell me what you guys think. Um, should I uh, reuse these doors again? Or take my originals? And uh, work with them. These ones here used to be dark blue when I got them from the junkyard last year. So, uh, drop a comment. Tell me what you think. Should I keep them? Should I use my originals? Or should I go to the junkyard and find some more and start all over? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Okay, now we got the seat out. One thing that uh, share with some of you guys, maybe you do it, maybe you don't. Take your seat belts or bolts, take your seat bolts and put them back on because if you're anything like me, you'll lose the damn things. So get these in there. Don't look at that dirty floor. I couldn't get that red spot out when I bought it. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. And my boy's Wayne's World movie. Don't look at that. All right. These beauty panels, trim panels, whatever you want to call them. I'll show you something here. I just wrapped them in a quarter inch Luan. That's all they are. Put them on with the industrial strength uh, Velcro. That's all it is, guys. If you get the uh, industrial strength for things like this, that stuff is very very strong and it really has held these panels well so well in fact I don't remember being this hard to get out of course I'm trying to do it one-handed slide on me there it is just a panel that covered that and uh, the hole for the port so I'll finish getting this off and uh, I'll start taking some subs out
All right, I got most of the screws out, except for a couple here on this sub. Let me go get my Allen wrenches for that. Okay, got my wrench. Get this one unwired. Maybe. The BD-412. I've done videos on it before. But it's quite a beefy sub. Everything looks good so far. Get my light here. See if we can take a look at the coils. That coil looks brand new still. That's one. See if we can get a few more of these out and I'll check back with you. Hey guys, it's starting to get dark on me out here, so losing light. <clears throat> I was only able to get four, four of the subs out tonight. As some of you know, um, when you're going up by yourself, it's not always that easy to, to get them out, especially when you got a 14 inch uh, opening there and you're 225 pounds like I am it's not easy to crawl in there and get that so uh, wanted to get all of them out today but I only got four so we'll get those last four out I don't know when when the weather would be good enough for me to do it again because like I said before unfortunately I don't have a garage like some of you guys have a luxury you're doing I mean here's my garage 16 by 16 that we have to have up in the air because like I said before, it floods here. Never gotten in the building, it's only got up to the steps. But still can't take that chance, so I can't pull nothing in it. So anyways, as you can see, got those out, got the front all off. From the, the trim panels there. Got those all off. Seat, we got the, yeah, I got the seat out, got my doors apart. So yeah, I mean, uh, we'll get those last four subs out. We'll get these audio pipe six by nines out and these little closures that I made for them. And uh, get those last four subs out and uh, we can start taking the saws all or whatever and start cutting this box apart. So next episode, uh, we'll be doing that hopefully. So stick around. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the uh, subscribe and like button, and I appreciate all the support.